Hi, welcome you beautiful bastards. This is Ian Michael, your friendly Dreamcast developer. This is from Australia, of course. Well, formerly from Australia, but lives in America. Well, yeah, let, let's just get off with this, you know, this bunch of crap that's been going on with me for the last two months. Well, there's, well there, there was a van car problem. There was, there was a PC problem, a loss of development data. All stuff so, sort of like that. So um, let's kick it off. Well, my van, my wife drives our car. She drives it back and forth to work back. Back and forth to work back. All right, yeah. So what happened there is the wheel, you know, it was making a noise. So it was the wheel bearing, I thought. So I had to replace the wheel bearing. And in my former life, I was a qualified trade mechanic. So, but because of my body and condition in my back, I can't, I can't do that stuff anymore. I, I, I have a chance of being in a chair or not being able to move, but I had to do it anyway because it was an emergency. And so I got that done and it turned out the caliper is seized. It's still seized, but this is the thing with the car. The wheel hub comes in a three bolt and a four bolt, but you can't tell until, t until you take the rotor off. So I bought both anyway. Anyway, that's all solved. Next thing, my old computer was crap. Uh, and as you know, have you seen the videos? Absolute crap. So I found on Goodwill online a Dell XPS i7 32GB um, faster machine that actually has USB 3 ports. Well, then come the saga. I had to put the Elgato and the video card and everything over there in the hard drives. In the process of cloning the hard drives, the last year of my development has been lost. The snapshots for the VM, all that sort of thing. And I tell you, my heart sank because that was a lot of work. Now, luckily, on another external hard drive, thank you, Deluxe, that I still use, I had backed up about three or four months before, which included the Sega demo disc, uh, source code, and most of the stuff, but about three months behind. So I've restored that, so I can get back to work on projects like that. So thank you very much. I'd always, and I'd always, always, I'd like to thank Mike Rocks for being such a good mate, and for supporting me, and supporting the channel. You're a megastar, mate. Megastar. I'd also like to thank everyone else that supports me on Patreon. And without your support, I couldn't keep doing this. I couldn't afford the internet and I couldn't afford anything because my wife is the sole support of this whole endeavor as far as me living in a house. So otherwise, yeah, I'd be out. And of course, I can't really do development living in a van down by the river. So, yeah. So people said they liked my uh, wrestling promos, stuff like that. I can do a few more of those when I do releases and stuff like that. Uh, so that's fine. This is a vlog style, just to let you uh, know the update on the channel. I'll be back to doing coding, updating programs, and stuff like that. And um, all the beautiful bastard bastards out there, and, and bastardettes, and everyone else out there, I'll see you in a future video. Uh, you've been wonderful. Um, hello, wonderful people. Uh, you know, support me. Support the channel. I love yous all. Yeah. And um, please, Americans say emu, not emu. I mean, it gets on my nerves. Please say emu. Not emu. Okay, just getting that off my chest there. Anyway, uh, so other things that you might know is that uh, uh, the Sega Power demo disc uh, was developed by me, and uh, the artwork was done by Adam Burrell, and I'm glad that everyone's enjoying it. Just so everyone knows, you should look. There is a secret Easter egg somewhere in there. Maybe you can find it. Let me know in the comments. All right. Yes. Become a Twitter star. Announce the Easter egg. All right. 
So, the other thing I would like to discuss is Dreamcast development. Well, Dreamcast development, there is a lot of pushing PC stuff onto an SH4 processor. But the best tool in the last year or two years is DC Profiler by Kazard. It gives you a map, it gives you a visual map, and then you can target it like a scalpel with DreamHow and with SH4 Intrinsics and Mathematics if that is the bottleneck in your thing. It's not a magic bullet. You have to profile your code on hardware and find where the bottleneck is, what is the system that's taking the most time, what code is uh, causing a catch uh, miss, uh, because just just because the C code is just as fast as the ASM doesn't mean the C code is catch coherent and it could be causing you a catch miss uh, so anyway just a little bit of the stuff there so I'll see you in a future video farewell you've been watching I am our technology brother so cheers cheerio See you on the flip side. Bye-bye for now. Can I look up an angelic?